Stadium. A time of hope and optimism here in the Louisville spring game. A sunny, breezy evening in Louisville. A couple of weeks away from the run from the run for the Roses. Four months away from seeing football players break out of the games in 22. Final six games last year with a broken leg, but he's healthy and ready to go. Maurice Turner is the tailback to Shuck's right. Shuck to the far sideline, and that is caught incomplete. And down the far sideline is Chris Bell at the 20, at the 10. And how about that start to the spring game? It's a pretty good one. Well, Matt, the, one of the big things, big plays, who are the playmakers? When you lose a receiver like Thrash, you start looking around, who can replace that explosiveness? And right off the bat, Chris Bell with the point after. And 7-0. Transfer from Miami. Gets the handoff. And if you'll notice, it's a it's a thud type of game. Pierce Clarkson certainly came into Louisville with a lot of fanfare. Slant on the inside that is caught. And a minimal gain. It looked like Kataris, Kataris Hicks, the sophomore. Four-star prospect when he came out of high school. Third down and six over the middle and that's a nice grab over the middle that's Antonio Meeks can score as well we'll run down that scoring system in just a little bit in this spring game format Clarkson looking over the middle and just in and out of the hands of the aforementioned Meeks yeah a, a lot of opportunities here on both sides of the ball eliminate the tackling frustrate the defensive guys that's it. <laughs> Clarkson from the far sideline that is Donald Cheney and Cheney's in the backfield out to the right now Clarkson Clarkson over the middle oh, has his man and it's caught Jaden King into the end zone for the touchdown I think we're seeing right off the bat the attempt to integrate more vertical throws in this offense than they had last year. Tremendous launch and catch and early up out of this offense. Point after is good. Clarkson four of five. Magic Rod Gilmore red white spring game here in Louisville 14 nothing team white. Tyler Shuck remains in at quarterback. Keep on Brown around the far side. And again no tackling. We're just thudding tonight. That's key Brown PN.com slash watch Chuck again inside to Chris Bell who caught the first touchdown of the game and that is something that Jeff Brom certainly wants to accentuate here with this offense run up the middle it's again Kiwan Brown it's here tonight officially the give to Brown you know Matt this this offensive line group an awful lot Brom says it's the most depth he's ever had with an offensive line. Chuck to the far side and that is complete. That's Colin Lacey. They look you know what you want to play to your strengths. What are your strengths An offensive line was one of the first two things off the tip of his tongue. That's a good thing to have here. Chuck with the game and a nice tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Isaac Brown here. Inside their own 45, a chance for the defense to come up with a few points with a fourth down stop. Chuck over the middle, and that's in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. He's in program history. 14 and a half tackles for loss. Harrison Bailey now in at quarterback. We talked about that battle for the backup. Guitarist Hicks. Isaac Brown, the freshman, is to his right. And with the green jersey. Not going to go very far for the offense. Isaac Brown splits wide. Now back next to Bailey. The rush is on. Bailey in its face, and that one is in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. That's and Shuck is 24. Will be 25 in September. Shuck. To show off that arm again off his back foot, nearly a turnover. 
That went through the hands of Devin Neal as with the pass off to the far side. That's Turner out of the backfield. On a second down and 10 play. Back to running back room. Yeah, I'm not sure it's realistic to expect to find one back to replace Jordan. Chuck steps up in the pocket, nearly picked off there as that was batted up into the air. Today. Pretty lucky. Brady Allen. Now in at quarterback, he wants Brown in the backfield. And not some of that Brown trickeration. Back to Allen on the far side, sporting the green jersey past midfield. And he is touched around the 40 yard line. If we had a couple of floored passes, what do we have there, Rob? <laughs> of course. Oh, hands to the face. I think we had hands. Brady Allen, former transfer from Purdue, still in at quarterback. Donald Cheney, the Miami transfer. Man, that I know you listen to on your mixtape and you're right into work. I, I got it on my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Allen over the middle. That's a nice pass and caught. Whistle still not blown. And now finally is. I'm sure that guy's here right now. Hand off and a nice tackle at the line of scrimmage. A lot of red jerseys. Wing's been banged up and hasn't been able to, to play. He might be a guy that could give them what they're looking for. Yeah, Brooks has been dealing with labrum surgery. And they hope he's believe he's healed up. And no the older brother Greg as well, who's the chief of staff here. It certainly is a, a family affairs. That one is tipped back to Brady Allen, who throws that one out of bounds. Some trickeration from Coach Brom up in the booth and Brom on the side. Uncle then brother to brother. <laughs> Nice rush there on the play. You would think that should be ruled as a sack there from the defensive front. That's what themselves they certainly do. It's third down and 10. Isaac Brown in the backfield. It's Brady Allen at quarterback. Finds his man. And our defense is doing a pretty good job. That was Chris Hughes. Second time we've called his name today. Allen. Little back shoulder throw, but how about maybe a little offensive pass interference? That's JoJo Stone, the freshman out of Georgia, gain at 20. The helmet communication going to be really interesting to track, and how that impacts the game coming up is still in the backfield. Allen rolling to the far side. Defense giving chase. They can't touch it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think. Juan Brown in the backfield. Allen over the middle. That's caught past midfield. On a second down and long. Brown in the backfield. Third down and long. Allen looking. And good defensive coverage there. 50 turnovers, third most in the FBS. In that span, Chuck in at quarterback gives the give. That is Donald Cheney, the Miami transfer. Mentioned Quinn. We let's take a look at that linebacking group for Louisville. And off to Cheney. It's a linebacking group that they're certainly expecting a lot from. Quinn is going to be the headliner. Davis is surprising loss but they feel like they have enough depth there to account for it. I would say that that is probably the question mark. It is the linebacking group. And off up the middle nice hole nice gain before he studded up near the 40 yard line gain of about 11 Corey Thornton the UCF transfer was. Chuck. Up top has a man there it's caught and a touchdown Chris Bell his second of the spring game. Perfectly thrown ball Matt once again the deep ball drop back and Bell did a tremendous job off the line of scrimmage of avoiding the press coverage. He beats his man off the line of scrimmage and gives the quarterback lots of room to drop it in there but that was made now check out the pocket drop back perfect protection balls out quickly and a really nice route.
50 yards on the first touchdown, a 45 yarder on this one. Rainbier puts that one through. The last one went for 45, and a guy that they hope could emerge as that number one receiver. Clarkson is hit from behind the line of scrimmage. So he is a guy, a bit of a long strider, but he has the ability to be a game breaker. Clarkson over to the near side that is tipped away. And that defensive secondary is something that you are going to have to watch all season long. Colin Lacey, South Alabama transfer, is a guy brought in to kind of fill that slot need. Here's Clarkson over the middle. Guntaris Hicks slung to the ground. Quincy, Quincy Riley is there yet again. The setback and four receivers in the formation for Louisville. Turner. The near side cuts back in, not before he's on and six. Turner. Shifty. Stopped a little bit past the line of scrimmage. Hey, Matt, I know we talked about this. Big boys and a handful of transfers to help supplement. Pass into the flat, and that is wrapped up immediately. That Points right number 97 Maurice Davis with the stop and at quarterback Isaac Brown the freshman running back Chuck already with a couple of touchdowns tonight to Chris Bell that one to the far side Colin Lacey with the catch that is the South Alabama transfer a guy who really nicely he can spin it. And off, nice hole, good gain, Isaac Brown. He's got some of that shiftiness, some speed, some quickness. Talking to the coaches, said has an element of that Jawar Jordan had, just that speed. He's got that hard to catch, can be a pest to the defense. Stings the defense. Yeah. Chuck. Boy, you're right about the way that oh, ball comes oh out boy. of that right arm. Oh, boy. That one to the far side, Katoris Hicks. That was a throw. Brown showing the shiftiness again. What, what is it about Shuck and the way that ball comes out, Rod? Six games in 2022, six games in 2023 is Brown to the near side, and he is roped down. There is a flag on the play. That was Antonio Watts. At Texas Tech that I think he expected and he got beat up there's no question about it but that should not happen here this is a pro style offense that throw though as we call that the announcers jinx that is picked off that is Quincy Riley folks that is a name to watch what? I know the NFL draft is coming up this year this is another name what a surprise that Riley makes the play now we talk about a guy who is high on the radar as you mentioned for next year's draft has added depth to give him breaks during the now season. He mentioned in a recent interview maybe instead of 80 snaps it's you know you take you take a few snaps of those away and he's able to maximize and play 100 percent more off a lot of new faces in this conference and and new teams as well as a few programs entered the portal and with the touchdown pass as well. Third down and one red team defense looking to add to their lead and they might just have done it. We finally got the scoring right here. <laughs> looking forward to the second half talk to. A player or two as well if they're done playing in the spring game forward to some conversations running clock in the second half as well as that give. It is to Brown. First down with a few seconds to go. Allen. Whistle is blown on the catch from Brown, and that will do it for the first half of this spring game.